we have our first grandchild, just turned two about a month or so ago, little Bennett Christopher Haggerty. And my wife and I were, were engaged in babysitting, our now favorite uh, occasion. I have him on my lap, and we're about to watch an episode of Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood. All right? Those of you, so a bunch of you are nodding here. You know, if you go to my on demand, I got 40 of them <laughs> recorded. On, and then it's on my lap, and it's about to come on, and, and you're seeing the thanks, the, the, the boards that the thanked everybody. And it gets to the last one, and he's got a little sippy cup in his mouth, and he takes it out, and before you hear the words, he says, and to viewers like you. <laughs> I swear to you, I swear he did that. So from Bennett Christopher Haggerty, our thanks to viewers and, and friends like you. Neil, we've got to figure out a way to get that. <laughs> we need to work it. As you've heard, November 7th will be 50 years to the day that President Lyndon B. Johnson signed the Public Broadcasting Act of 1967, and it changed the face of public media forever. In a moment, I said we're going to have a chat and pull back the curtain a bit with both Bill and Joe about how that all happened and some of the challenges that we're going to be looking at in the future. Before we do that, we thought you might like to hear and to watch some of the comments that President Johnson offered about the act itself. These comments have been preserved by the LBJ Presidential Library. Let's take a look. The Public Broadcasting Act of 1967. This act has a host of fathers. And while we work every day to produce new goods and to create new wealth, we want most of all to enrich man's spirit. And that is the purpose of this act. It will give a wider and I think stronger voice to educational radio and television. And most important, it builds a new institution, the Corporation of Public Broadcasting. This corporation will assist stations and producers who aim for the best in broadcasting good music, in broadcasting exciting plays, in broadcasting reports on the whole fascinating range of human activity. It will try to prove that what educates can also be exciting. So today, we rededicate a part of the airwaves which belong to all the people and we dedicate them for the enlightenment of all the people. 